Hi, welcome to our tutorial video for the wireless stoker. We're going to help you get set up to operate your stoker over your wireless network. What you're going to need is an Ethernet cable, and you're going to plug that into the back of your stoker and into one of the numbered ports on the back of your router. And you can go ahead and power up your stoker. Once you boot to the main menu, you want to go ahead and scroll to main network and hit select. And the first thing that comes up is IP address, and we're going to hit select again. The IP address we get on the screen here is 192.168.001.102. Now we're going to go ahead and head over to our web browser, and in the address bar, we are going to enter that. We're going to enter a little bit differently. We're going to leave out the leading zeros. So, for example, in this case, it's going to be 192.168.1.102. And at the end of that IP address, we're going to add forward slash wifi.html. Hit enter. This will bring us to our Wi Fi settings page. Um, on here, we are going to enable the wireless. We're going to enter the name of our wireless network. Um, ours here is rocks. If there's any uppercase, lowercase, special symbols, or spaces, they all need to match. Go ahead and click the DHCP box. Next, we're going to select our security type. Um, if you don't have any security, just select none, and you won't enter a password. Um, there's WEP open, WEP shared, and WPA and WPA2 both use PSK. Next, go ahead and enter your password, and after which, we're going to save the changes. You can leave these last four boxes, 255, all the way across. After you save the changes, you want to give the stoker a few seconds to save the changes. After that, you can go ahead and power off the stoker, give it a few seconds, and power it back on. You'll see now as it's connecting, it's going to say connecting with Wi Fi. As long as we have the SSID, the security type, and the passphrase correct, it should connect right up and go straight to the main menu. If you have one of those parameters incorrect, it's going to give you a fail message. And I'll show you at the end of the video how to disable the Wi Fi so you can get back in to change the settings. So now we're at main temp control. We're going to hit select. We're going to scroll up to Wi-Fi IP now. Oops, one second here. Main network, select. We're going to scroll up to Wi-Fi IP and hit select. Now we have our wireless IP, 192.168.001.076. We're going to go back to our web browser. We're going to enter that as 192.168.1.76. Hit enter, and this will bring you to your stoker status page. This is where, if you have your devices connected, you'll see all your blowers, sensors, etc. And you can change all the different parameters, the target temperatures, assign your pit sensor to your blower, um, set your alarms, all, all that stuff. Um, now, if you got the fail message when you booted and you need to go back, um, to your wireless settings, what you need to do is go back to your stoker and back out all the way to main network. We're going to enter that menu. We're going to scroll the Wi Fi enable, hit select, scroll the disable, and hit select. And then after it's disabled, you'll see an asterisk next to it. You go ahead and power off your stoker, power it back on. After it boots back up to the main menu, we are going to go and scroll to main network, hit select, IP address, hit select again, and we're back to that original IP we had. Go back over to your web browser, enter that IP address again, 
followed by forward slash Wi-Fi dot HTML. So 192.168.1.102. Forward slash Wi Fi dot HTML. Now, when you get back here, go ahead and make sure that you enable the wireless again. Um, and generally, either the SSID, the security type, or the, the password or passphrase to get on is incorrect. And if you're 100% sure that those are all correct, you need to check your router settings to make sure that there's not something in there that's stopping you from connecting. All right, that's been our um, Wi-Fi setup video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below or you can email us, rocketrocksbarbecue.com. We'll be happy to follow up and help you guys get connected. Happy cooking.